Hi, welcome to another video. And we are just heading into the city of St. Tassif, Llan Elwy. I will take a shortcut through the uh, St. Tassif Cathedral. Beautiful, they've just cut the grass, you can smell it, lovely. It's a beautiful sunny day. So the reason for the video, well, for a walk, um, I want to show you a road. You've probably seen it from some other videos. And then I want to um, do a little cook up if I can find a nice spot. So let's head into the city. Heading now out of St. Asif towards the bypass towards Rithland that way. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of road walk in this first bit, but uh, you'll see why after. It's a lardy. So, what I'm on now is the what they call the bypass between St. Asif and Rithland. And uh, there's a busy old road, this, and somebody turning here. There's, um, there's many ways you could do this, but I want to go this way. As I say, I'll, you'll see why. And then we're going back sort of round. It'll be like a five or six mile walk, I think. So. I'll speak to you when we're further up.
Right, so what I'm approaching now is what I want to show you. And what it is, if you remember a thing called a comedy in, in the UK in the 60s and 70s. And it was called On the Buses. And there was one film they made, Holiday on the Buses, which they filmed in Pontins, I think it was, in Prostatin. But this bypass was used. Was, <laughs> this bypass was used uh, in the mystery tour, it was. And I'll turn the camera around, I'll show you. So, in the film, the bus come up from St. Asaph up here. You could turn then, this grass verge in the middle, solid now, but those days there was a gap and they turned in where that house is over there, where the lorry is, come along here, this cycle path was near, along here and turned into here. And this is the road they used, it was all grown then, it was all trees and, but, um, and they only sort of went, I suppose as far as that bridge, you didn't see it, they'd just seen them turning in. Because uh, if you see it in the film, the bus mounted mounted this curb here. It was more clearer then, but uh, yeah. So that's where they come in through here and down. The locations they used, as I said, was Prestatin Pontins. They used the bridge in Ridlan, where the motorbike and sidecar crashed and. All the luggage went in the river. Stan was coming over the bridge on the bus. Um, they used Dizzeth Falls as part of the uh, mystery tour as to where they all stopped for an ice cream. And I think it was after that, the clip, where they're all eating ice cream. And they filmed going through some uh, branches. That wasn't actually down this lane. This is where we're heading, see? Down here. That wasn't down this lane, that was filmed somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure where that was actually, because they went under a bridge. Um, they used a lot of extras, local people, a lot of them, for that. Yeah, it's interesting. So, if you've ever watched on the buses. We're not far from that road, it's a busy road that. It's gone quiet, lovely. The bird life. So, we're going to head now, it's going to be a nicer walk now. Um, over a bridge and then onto a road, I think, and then back through the countryside. And it's about five or six miles, I think, all in all. No trip. So I've just come over the bridge, down these steps. So you come to some farms now. Um, private, all private now. So you have to go down this way. There's a farmer and his tractor. Beautiful place, so quiet. And uh, birds singing. <laughs>
liking that sign. And I think it's a few years since that's seen any chilies though. <laughs> Right, as I said, I'm doing a bit of food in a minute. So I'm going to go into here and pick. Uh, probably one is enough wild garlic. And the distance there, that's Bodelwidan Castle. And just to the right, there you'll see the spire of um, the marble church we call it but uh, is it St. I'm not sure St. Mary's or something I can't remember but that's the marble church and then just over there is Glancluid Hospital This is the A55. That goes towards Chester, and that way. And that goes back into St. Asaph there, or we'll head to the North Wales coast, Anglesey and all that type of stuff. We're heading this way. Right, coming to this churchyard. Nice and quiet. And let's see if there's a somewhere we can have a sit down. Because I couldn't find any. Oh, there has a bench, is it? So I couldn't find anywhere. without trespassing so I didn't want to do that so I'll have a look at these benches and maybe we can uh, oh there they are it says on the gate please close the gate sheep in the cemetery they bring them in to keep the grass down you see and there they are <laughs> one there and there's three over there Ah, lovely. This will do nicely. Well, before I do anything, I'm going to have a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. Strong Yorkshire tea. Milk, no sugar. You may find this strange, someone sitting in a cemetery like this, having a cup of tea. <laughs> but the thing is, it's so, it's so peaceful and quiet, you can hear the birds singing, it's lovely. And I've said it before, these cemeteries are like an area's history book. So many people, obviously from the area, and did all sorts of things. Worked in different places. Different lives. Yeah, amazing. Right, I'll finish this and then we'll get going with it. What I'm doing is a cheese and onion toasty on that uh, Ridge Monkey frying pan. So we'll see how we get on. I am here. Um, I'm just going to connect all this up. So the next one's there. I'm using that sort of uh, windproof gas stove again. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Ridge Monkey, it's only small. Place that there for a minute, I'll show you where I've, I've prepared most things. So that's the butter, I hope it's melted a bit here. Chopped onion. Oh, two barges there I was going to have, but I don't know yet. Spare. There's the cheese I've chopped. And here's the bread. So the first job is to butter the bread. Where's this? Get my knife, just bear with it. Where's the bread? The butter. Knife's a bit overkill, isn't it? See if I can do this without. I don't want to rip the bread, you see. Right, I'll butter this, I'll get back to you. Right, change of plan. We're gonna melt the butter, put the bread in. It's too it's gonna rip it, you see, though. So I'll just like this. Nice control on this. So there's a bit of butter in there. Can start that. Hot sauce. I'll put another bit of butter on here. Just bear with me. And we'll just keep turning it. The wild garlic, didn't I? Just chop this up. See? <laughs> Just bear with me. I'm going to open this up a bit. Important, you see. 
send it down the touch. Tidy up as we go. And that's it. Back to you in a minute. Right, I think we're about done. Just about any more to be going down the cram. Let that cool off and that. Let's have a look, shall we? I think I'll call that a success. Melted cheese, wild garlic, so cheese and onion with wild garlic toasty. A grilled sandwich, as some people would say. Lovely. All I need to finish it off is another cup of Yorkshire tea. All in the peaceful surroundings of a cemetery. All done respectfully. So here we go. Taste test. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you want it? Mm. And it really does taste better outside. Oh, that wild garlic, lovely. Mm. Mm. And then you're getting the habanero hot sauce. Beautiful. Not hot, hot. It's the Tabasco habanero, you know. The reason I bought that one, brought it I should say, is the size of the bottle. Much better, only really small. Mm. So that little ridge monkey, fantastic. Very quick as well. There's a little tip, if your butter's too hard, put a piece in the pan, melt it, then put your bread in. Yeah, very quick then. So I'll finish this with my tea and I'll get back to you then. So there we have it, absolutely delicious that was. So thank you to uh, Eva Elizabeth Morell. Yeah, that's where I was. And as always, leave no trace. Not a crumb. So it's been lovely. Been here about an hour. And it's been very peaceful. Even the sheep are lying down over there. But uh, there we are. So I'm just heading, head back now and then. Uh, that is everything yet. Head back and then um, just up the road here, I'll be back to uh, where the cathedral is. So um, that's it then. But circular walk in St. Asaph. So hope you enjoyed the video. Many thanks. And I'll see you in the next adventure or video, whenever it'll be. Take care and I'll see you soon.